Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to export the CC4 avatar as GLB file or what we call the GLTF. But you can see at here file exports, it doesn't support the GLB, the GLTF. So I'm going to show you all the step by step how to make sure your CC4 avatar export as GLTF or GLB. So now First, what you need to do is just click File, Exports, FBX, Cloth Corrector and the Target Tool preset we choose Blender Then, the FBX options, here we, we choose the Mesh only Then turn here, make sure the setting here Merge the Opacity to Diffuse Texture Then, at here, the Install LOD, just turn it on to make sure it all baked to just one single material just one single material texture we click export and click ok and as demo I'm going to export it on my desktop I right click new folder name this as model 01 then double click it copy the destination location Control C to copy then paste it here to save as then press enter the file name I'm going to name this as model 01 then I click save now the CC4 is going to export the FBX so we are going to wait for this first until it finish to up to 100% the FBX file will appear right here alright now you can see the FBX file is already exported now I'm going to close the CC4 or just minimize it next this is the FBX file we are going to convert it to become GLB by using the blender so today, my demo, I'm going to just use the Blender 4.2, the latest version for today. And then, first, just click the empty area, press A to select all, and press the delete button to delete everything. Next, click File, Import, FBX, from the desktop, Model 01, the FBX file is already there, just import the FBX. So now you can see the FBX file is already imported. First thing what you need to do is also click the empty area and press A to select all Then press Ctrl A to make sure all transform Because you can see that the scale here is not 1 so we are going to make sure it is 1 So just press Ctrl A Make sure all transform, just click all transform Now done, all of the scale already reset to 1 Next, what I'm going to do is just check this 3D avatar click here to make sure it turn on the texture the material is not set properly yet so now I, I'm going to just simply click here scroll down go to the setting the displacement sorry the render methods we are going to choose it to the first one the D All right then once you click it sometimes it depends on your GPU speed or CPU you are going to just wait for a while until it finish loaded the shader just wait for a while or you can just skip this if if your 3d model is not involving the transparency now that and at the same time you can see this this 3d avatar although it is multiple meshes but it is just one single material just one single mesh so at this stage you can just export the glb file so now at the same folder i'm going to just right click create a new folder name this as GLB alright next click file export GLB GLTF here then at this side the format you can either choose a GLB or GLTF I'm going to to show you both so first I, I'm going to start from GLB I'm going to export it on my desktop model 0 1 GLB folder then I'm going to just name this as model 01 GLB export now just wait for a while it is exporting the GLB file at here now done the GLB file is already here next we are going to try another file type is what we call the GLTF GLTF All right then do the same click file export GLTF GLB next at here the format just choose the GLTF next the folder you have to make sure you choose the GLTF folder do not mix it the file name is model01.gltf I export the GLTF 
right at the same time also just wait for a few seconds here now all already exported just view with the large icons you can see the material texture also already exported so next we are going to test both file the glb file and gltf file to see whether it works or doesn't works all right first the glb file in window 10 i double click it it is going to open with the with the 3d viewer right it already loaded and the shader is not that good but it doesn't matter later we are going to test in 3d software that's back in blender next we check the gltf file as well it is at here the gltf double click it is going to open with the 3d viewer as well in microsoft window 10 now so Next, I'm going to just use a blender to test these two files. First, I test the GLB file. I open the blender. This is also blender 4.2. I click and press A and press delete to clear everything. Click file, import GLB. This is import. So from the desktop, model 01, GLB, model 01. I click import. All right, once already imported, just have a check on this GLB file. Right now, I will just turn on the texture, turn on the material at here, and wait for a while. At the same time, you can see the material is not yet set properly. I am going to just click any mesh, go to the material setting, scroll down to find the setting. The render method, just choose the D third, just choose the D. Now you can see the, the armature at here. This is the armature, you can just unseen it. All of these balls are the armature. If you click the ball and just go to the post mode, then actually you can just simply create any of the keyframe just to animate it. Everything will be okay. Not this. This is the double one. All right. See? All right. Next, the eyeball, we can just test it. The eyeball, you can just rotate it. It is going to rotate the eyeball. This one, you can unseen it. All right, now everything, no problem. Everything worked well. This is this is the GLB format. It's work in Blender. After exporting it, you import back to the Blender. It still can work properly. So next, I'm going to test the GLTF as well. And here, the GLTF. I'm going to test with Blender 4.2 as well because this is the latest version for today, of course. I choose the Blender 4.2, press A, delete everything, click File, Import, GLTF from the desktop, Model 01, GLTF. All right, sorry. This is Export. You have to click File, Import, GLTF. This is importing. Sometimes we make some mistake to export something. So, Desktop model 01 GLTF the model 01 just import it and have a check. Now this is this is the GLTF. The GLTF is already imported. Same as just now. This is the GLTF format. I click and just turn on the material texture to have a check. We have to make sure we check everything. Make sure it is function properly. All of the skeletons, all of the rigs. So you can see this is Blender 4.2 for loading the material texture. It compared with the previous version, it is slower than the previous versions, but it doesn't matter. Just a try, click here, the material, scroll down, the render methods, change it to D. Then you still have to wait for a while. Just be patient. Now it is loading the material with different random methods. Now, so wait for a while for this stage. It may show not responding, but you can just wait that there. Just wait for a while. It doesn't matter. It depends on your computer speed. Now it's already imported. This is the GLTF. Just now I click file, import GLTF. The GLTF, the file format GLTF seen everything can can work properly so this is the rigs the skeletons the bones if you go to the edit mode 
you can re-edit it in a normal shape if you want to make some posts you can just click then manipulate the skeletons everything will work properly just don't worry too much and all of the material texture is still okay at there so now in conclusions this gltf and the glb file that exported from the blender at the beginning it is a cc4 avatar from the cc4 the creator creator 4 i export it as fbx and then import import the fbx into blender then convert it to become the glb file the glb file formats and also the gltf file format and everything already tested worked properly so it does it doesn't matter what format is that as long as you follow the correct way the correct methodology to export it all right that's all for today about my tutorials on how to export the cc4 the character creator for 3d avatar to be the glb or gltf format the glb file or gltf and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my videos tutorials and sharings if you feel all these tutorials and sharings are very helpful to your 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. You can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new videos, tutorials, or sharings, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy! Happy 3D modeling, 3D animations, and 3D game developing. See you!